Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how you can uh, save on your heating costs at your home. This is what you buy. It's a 1500 watt milk house heater. And uh, where you buy these are at Runnings. Um, I looked at Walmart and like Menards. Those, uh, th they're not the same as these. They're a little bit different. They're just called space heaters. But uh, we've used these for years. Uh, growing up, my... Uh, at my stepdad's house, he had like an old 1900 model two-story home. So it was, it was really drafty. The windows didn't steal very well. And uh, it was just so expensive to heat it. So um, our heat was always turned down to like 60 degrees inside the house. But And when you're in bed, you know, you're all cuddled, curled up in your um, comforter and your sleeping bags and all your blankets and everything, you know. But when you're up for the day, you're watching TV. We always had one of these milk house heaters by the couch. And... Uh, um, you just warm up your feet or whatever and all of us kids would gather around it and uh, here as an adult I uh, I actually have two of them in my house at all times I have one here at my computer desk and when I'm eating here at the dinner table and then I also have one in the bathroom to just warm it up but yeah I just keep my house at 60 degrees all winter long and it really helps save on the heating costs um these uh they're their cord does get hot though, so you have to keep this away from anything hot. Like you wouldn't want to leave home with your uh, <coughs> with this running or plugged in, um, because it, there is a chance that you could burn down your house. Um, and you cannot repair these. I believe me, I've looked into it. Uh, these used to always be fifteen dollars at Runnings, and they have tip over protection where when tips over, um, all it has two metal contacts, almost like a the ignition on a car or whatever. So when you tip it over, they Lose, they uh, go apart and then it, it won't start or whatever. Well, what happens over the years is uh, those contacts from going back and forth, they uh, they get burned up and they don't make a very good connection anymore. So then you just have to throw this milk house heater away and buy a brand new one. Uh, during the pandemic at Runnings, they were up to $36, but now they've come down again. They're at $20, uh, still not 15, but $20 is better than 36. Um, you got, for your selectors on these, you have high, low, fan, and off. The fan would just be blowing, you know, cold air, but uh, I always just turn mine to high there, and which high would be the 1,500 watts. Um, if you put it on low, that's 750 watts. That really doesn't give you much heat. All you're doing is wasting electricity. And then your uh, variable fan speed here is what this is. Um, well, actually, actually, this is your heater temperature. This one does have a... A variable thing there and a lot of these just have two adjustments down here just seven 750 watts or 1500 watts um this really saved my butt because uh, a few years back in 2013 um my furnace went out in my house and i called up the um the heating and cooling place and they told me they were booked out two weeks and i was like you don't understand it's winter time i'm gonna freeze my pipes in my house and thank god i was at on vacation from work and I was able to keep one of these going to my basement all the time so I wouldn't have to leave my house. It could keep my, uh, my bedroom in the basement warm enough. And then it also pre uh, prevented the pipes from freezing, having this, this in the house. So, um, yeah, I always have two in my home, one, in, one at the kitchen table where I'm sitting all day and one uh, in the bathroom. And then I always have two brand new ones in the storage uh, unit. So that, because during the summertime, you can't even buy these. They don't have them in stock. They're a, they're a seasonal item, so at least I have one of them from, for whenever these wear out because about um, they, these only last about a year before uh, those contact points go out on it. So, uh, um, yeah, my brother out at his, uh, his place in the country, they actually have it out there in their, uh, one of their buildings to keep the pipes and everything cool. And he leaves it plugged in all, year, all winter long when he's not in there, but um, that's a big open concrete floor there so it's less likely it would trip out a break or something it's not in your carpeting or any flammable materials it's just on a concrete floor in kind of a shop so yeah um cord here say it's it's about a six foot long cord here and uh one thing you'll notice on these they don't have a ground it's just two prongs on them so that's the way that is there and uh but but yeah like i said my heating costs uh I just live in a little one one bedroom, 900 square foot house, and uh, like I said, this has saved me so much money over the years by just heating the area that I'm actually in inside the house, rather than worrying about heating the entire house. 
I, I just keep the entire house at 60 degrees. So, all right, take care, you guys.